what are you guys sort of hoping can get accomplished at the convention this week, if anything? Well, uh, the number one thing we'd like to see happen is to have Hillary Clinton emerge as our nominee and uh, become our next president in November. What are the possible uh, ways of getting to that point? Well, it's it's all up to the delegates at this point. Um, right now, it's a zero-zero game. No delegate has cast a vote. Right. And if more delegates vote for Hillary Clinton, then she will be the nominee. What do you think of Hillary's decision? It was uh, announced last night that she was going to release all her delegates for Barack Obama. Well, at the moment, that's still hearsay. Like, uh, three weeks ago, Carl Bernstein went on CNN and said, Hillary Clinton will not put her name into nomination when simultaneously she was saying, yeah, actually it would be good if my name was placed in a nomination. So I treat all of these things as hearsay, and until Hillary Clinton says that she's going to release her delegates, I'm, I'm not going to listen to it. So uh, what do you say to people who say, oh, these guys are just, you know, not letting our party become united, you know, they're tearing each other apart, they're making us look like we're an undivided group. What do you say to people like that? Well, I would say that we're not the cause here, we're the effect. The DNC did this. Um, they're the ones that have mounted a coup. Uh, Barack Obama represents the DNC, he does not represent the Democratic Party. Um, there are many ways to look at this in which Hillary Clinton won this contest, but the DNC put forth of a very specific plan in which they cherry-picked their own rules, uh, and put forth their own failed system in a way that favored Barack Obama. So I would say this is on the hands of the DNC, not on we Democrats who are not falling in line.